Hey y'all, it's Mippy with Basically Bonsai, and today I'm back repotting this little Gollum Jade. I got this a couple years ago during the Toronto Bonsai Society Christmas auction or holiday auction, and it's been in this pot since I got it. I haven't done much to it other than cut off all of the foliage during one of my pest battles, and as you can see, it had no drainage, uh, so I had to be really careful with it this whole time. Um, so definitely not the ideal situation for it, so we're finally going to take care of it after <laughs> having it for about two years. So I've got a bunch of different pots that I can choose from. All of them are from local Canadian bonsai artists, uh, one out in BC, one here in Aurorno, and then Sophie out in Cambridge. So I'm trying to decide which one. I loved that crackled glaze, but people told me it was too nice a pot for this tree, so I'll save it for later. First thing I have to do is try to get this guy out. Luckily it wasn't too difficult, and I can now get all of this old less than ideal soil off of this poor little golem. <laughs> Knitting needle to the rescue. Thanks Judy for the tip. I love using this tool for the roots. It's so much more comfortable than the chopstick and it does such a good job. Now just prune off a few little undesirables, but there's not much of a root structure to talk about, so we don't have to do too much, just a little trimming. I ended up going with this kind of almost gunmetal-like glaze on this pot from an artist out in BC that I absolutely adore. I think it'll suit the tree really nicely as well. There you go, full effect. I really like it, I think it'll work great. So I've only done a little bit of repotting work before, um, but I luckily had some great mentors in the Toronto Bonsai Society who kind of showed me the ropes. Gotta get some screen here. And one thing to note, uh, one of the TBS members showed me how to make the wire into kind of like a little staple uh, rather than doing the little twirly rabbit ear version. Um, and I much prefer it this way. But I only had this soft, um, like kind of window screen, which does not work great in this circumstance because the wire just kind of pulls it through so you can see I'm trying to force it back um, so definitely invest in that hard craft needlework screen uh, it works a lot better now some of you might have already noticed a mistake I made <laughs> I didn't notice it at this point um, but we'll we'll see if you guys can figure out what I did wrong mix I've just got pine bark, pumice, uh, and a few other kind of gritty particle material that I've collected over the time and just kind of mixed it all together. So after lots of chopstick, oh yeah there it is. There's the issue. So I only put the one tie point in thinking it'd be okay. 
and then we're just we're just gonna chance it you know backfill a little bit and hope for the best So I went, brought it to go, put it back on the bench, and it came crashing down, of course. So definitely a big mistake on my part, only putting in the one tie point. Learn from me. Don't do as I do. Do as I say. <laughs> and then you won't have to redo all your work. Now, part of why I had kind of cheated and just did the one was I couldn't remember the proper technique for uh, when you had three tie down points. Now, somebody at the TBS had shown me this little trick where you create a loop at one end and you put it on. So that's what I'm trying to do here. But then I'm trying to visualize how it works, and I just could not, for the life of me, remember how he showed me that it worked. So, I'm trying to puzzle it through, and it's not really working the way I think it's supposed to. It just doesn't look quite right. We do what I always do when I can't figure something out. We turn to Google. I don't know what people in Bonsai did before Google existed. I rely on it very, very heavily. But of course, I was able to find an entire article on how to properly tie in, depending on how many holes you have in your pot. So we're back at it. I now know what to do. holes the article told me you first do the two sides and once you have those tightened down you can connect the two pieces of wire from each set of wires together so it creates a really strong hold Chopstick away again, get everything in between all the roots. And after a little while, that I will not show you because how much fun is that, we do a wiggle test. And this one's not crashing down anytime soon. It is very well secured in the pot now. Now we can safely put it back on the bench with all its buddies. And that's pretty much it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned from my mistakes. I'm sure I'll make more. And see you next time. <laughs>